What's up guys? So I had this idea. I live in an apartment and I'm starting to try and grow a garden on my patio and trying to figure out exactly, okay, now I got my seedling started and what next? I was gonna go and looking at buying some three gallon pots or um, some of the uh, bags, um, the grow bags that they sell. And then I was like, okay, 50 bucks. Am I gonna spend 50 bucks on it? Then I had this idea. What if I turn these reusable bags, the ones that you get at the grocery store and everything like that? I mean, we end up getting so many of them for some reason, and we have, we don't, we just, they're just collecting. And we always say we're gonna reuse them, and we don't. <laughs> we always forget them at home. So we had a whole bunch of these, and so I started thinking, it's like, what if I could reuse these as a garden bag or a grow bag? It's a thought. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things that I tried um, and to do in order to make this good for reusable or to recycle it in a sense and reuse it as a grow bag so that I can um, transplant my zucchinis, my crookneck squash, my peppers, my cucumbers and everything like that. So um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but um, we're going to try it for the shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bag and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this thing out. I'm gonna pop it nice and tight because I wanna get this for So I'm gonna make sure that these ends are put in and it's a nice flat flush bag, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a thumbtack, okay? And when I do this, what I wanna try and do is make sure I'm gonna poke holes in the bottom part, but I'm gonna go all the way through. I'm gonna go about, uh, I don't know, four inches or so. Uh, up to the top, and I'm trying to see how it goes all the way through to the bottom part. Um, this way it's on both sides, and I don't have to do this too many times. But I'm just coming in, a bunch of holes, poke, 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 all the way through to make sure that I'm getting it all the way through. And this is for drainage so that you don't get too much water collection, because um, then you're gonna get root rot, and it's just not good. Then you don't get no vegetables or anything like that. Plant dies, you get disease. And, uh, and it's just not funny. You gotta throw the whole thing away. So, just pop, 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 pop. Going all the way down. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. I'm just pop, 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 pop. And like 10 or so. All the way down. Again, I'm going maybe four inches high. That'll be plenty of stuff because once it's done, it goes to the bottom and it's gonna end up laying flat. So essentially this becomes a flat, uh, flat bottom, okay? So you got that, notice the holes are on both sides. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's their holes and went all the way through, top side, bottom side, okay? Then all you're gonna do, Open this up, roll the bottom down, flatten it out, like that, add your soil, boom. Here is the seedlings that I had started that I'm going to transplant. I already did one, and that's what the final outcome becomes. It's basically you just put the um, soil in, all that top bottom all the holes are on the bottom part here they would start it i don't know if you can see it but you can see some of them come at this side and basically once you water it and it just hopefully drains out that way um uh, just want to make sure that you put a tray or something underneath it because the water will seep through it um and uh yeah you don't want to get it make it all messy um and everything and i'm on the second floor so i don't want to mess with my neighbors either but and hopefully try and get all of these transplanted. I'm not gonna do the little ones um, just yet. Those are uh, red peppers, but you got zucchini, you got zucchini, you got crookneck squash, the yellow squash, um, some cucumbers, um, the onions, I'm not gonna do anything, but there's green onions in there. Um, you got meadows weed, you got some flowers for the wife. Um, and yeah, so that's the idea. And also starting with some, um, trying to start off some jalapenos seeds and all these things i just took from the fruit that um or the vegetables rather that i bought at the store pulled the seeds out put them in dirt and hey they worked so that is my homemade um bag grow bag um using 
my regular grocery store uh, pots or bags rather. Okay, so I made one, two, three, four, five, six more out of it. it took a little while, but got it done, and now time to transplant. And there you go. And use two of them. Just double up on some of those plants. And... Well, nope. got my zucchinis. There's three of zucchini. Got the cucumbers on that one. And the yellow squash on that one. And I got these up here that we're going to go into. Um, got some peppers, the marigold, marigold, green onions. And then it looks like one of the lavender finally started to pop up. So that's cool. But, but there it is. That's an easy way to turn um, your grocery bags that are just collecting under your sink or whatever um, and turn them into growing bags. I'll tell you, I'll let you know if it works. <laughs>